Hey, thanks for watching all my videos and subscribing to me. It means a lot. I really like all the feedback I get from you guys. So I'm finally getting around to making a new video. And this is going to be to make a cuff. So like, they're going to look like these. Um, they're pretty basic and I'm just going to make a, a regular one to show you the steps on how to make them. And I really hope it helps you. And just leave a comment if there's anything you want me to make and I'll try to get to it soon. Thank you. Alright, so a lot of people ask me what kind of string I use. And this kind of string seems to work great for me. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's point eight. Um, yeah. It, it's good. So, just start by getting a bunch of it. I don't usually measure my stuff. I just get as much as I could work with and cut it off. Alright. And, okay, so for sizes... This one, it's pretty good. It, it, it's a little big. It's a size 36 around. And if you have smaller hands, you could change it to 34s, 32s, but do it by twos. So I'm just going to make a 36 now because it's a pretty average size, I could say. So we're going to make a stripe cuff because I think they're really pretty. And I have a lot of red and oranges, so I'm going to use those. So start by putting two red, two orange, and just keep doing this until you get to 36. And if you want to make any other color cuff or any design cuff, you, would, you could do it differently. I think I'm going to do an, another video on how to read a pattern when making a cuff wear a mask because some people seem to have trouble doing that and I could teach you guys so just keep doing this until you get to 36 Now that you have 36 all right here, you're going to tie it together like you're making a single. So make like uh, three or four knots just to be sure that it doesn't fall off. This is going to be your like the bottom or top, whichever, that you're going to work off of. So make sure it's tied enough so it doesn't fall apart. And then just cut that little extra string off so it doesn't mess you up. Okay. And now that you have your string coming out between an orange and red bead, you could work either way because it's going in between. I'm just going to go this way. Okay, since we're making stripes, I'm going to make it come, it's going to come from the orange to red. I'm going to have put an orange bead on to make a stripe. This might seem a little confusing right now, but just watch. It, I don't know if you saw that. But I strung it through, and now there's like a line of orange beads going up. So then now it's coming out of a red bead, the string. So then we're gonna put a red bead on our string, and then we're going to loop it. We're going to skip this one orange and go to the second orange and put the string through the second orange bead and pull. So now that we have a red stripe. If you don't understand what just happened, I'm going to do it again for you but closer to the camera. Alright, so do you kind of see where we have one stripe of orange and then we have a stripe of red? And now the, our string is coming out of this orange bead right here. Well now, since it's coming out of the orange, we're going to put an orange bead on. Alright. So, when you get your orange bead on there, I want you to skip this red one and make it come through this second red bead. So put your string through that and pull 
and look now you have a stripe of orange so you're just going to keep doing that all the way around until you get back to over here to this side and remember to keep pulling so it all kind of sticks together Alright, now we're near the end, and our string is coming out of this red in between the orange. So put your last red bead on, and string it through the second orange, and pull. Alright, now you may be thinking, where, where do I put my string next? Because it's in between this one, the two oranges. Okay, so take your string and put it through that top orange bead the one on the top and pull so that now it's coming out of that orange and it's like you see it? alright so now that you have that you're gonna put another orange bead right here so string an orange bead on and push Put it through this red one right here, this next top red. And pull. And you see how your stripe of orange is growing? So you're just going to keep doing that all the way around until you get back to over here. So the next one would be red. And you would string a red bead on. And put it through the top orange one next to it. And pull. And then you have a stripe of red. So just keep doing that till you get all the way back. Alright, now that you're at the end, you just put in that, that red one on right there. So that is coming out of in between that orange one and the top orange. So just like before, take your string and put it through the top orange bead. So that is coming out between that orange and red one. And once again, put an orange one on and string it through the next top red one and pull so that your stripe of orange now has five and this this cuff is pretty repetitive and you're just going to keep going around and around until you build it to the size that you want I'm just going to go another round or two to show you guys but you could go as big as you want
so you kind of you guys kind of get the point of going around and around just adding beads yeah all right so I'm gonna end it here because you guys get the point and I don't feel like keep going so this is two four six it's a six stripe right now usually you could do it to like this is only like halfway done maybe but you just keep going around and around until you got to the size you wanted and I'm gonna show you how to tie it off real quick because I'm gonna tie this one off so just tie it three or four times like you normally do for anything and just keep looping it and tying it and you basically have a cuff and I hope yours turned out good and you made it as big as you want and when you're done making the knot just tie that just cut that off and you have your cuff and I hope it fit too good so that's how you make a cuff and I hope it turned out good and I'm sorry I didn't make it even bigger it's just you just keep going around and around and that's a cuff and if you want me to make anything else, I'll try to get around to it as soon as I can. So just write in the comments if this helped or not. And send me a picture on Twitter or anything and I'll talk back to you. And I love seeing the stuff you make. Thanks for watching.